everyone. Um, as I look around here this morning, what I see is the continued investment of Roraima Airways in uh, our international airport. We have the launch that, we already have the launch that passengers use. Now what we have is a facility here, and for me it looks better than my home that the crew can enjoy. So the people that transports us now will have a facility where they can come and relax and maybe have a shower, have a rest, and we can be assured now that they will not be tired or, 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 or jet lag when they fly us out. Um, Roraima Airways has always been a pioneer to, uh, for me. And when they do things, they do it with class. And if you look here, you can see the standards that they've set. It's encouraging to see that um, Roraima has the confidence in the development of this country, meaning that they continue to invest in various areas, especially the hospitality area. And I would like to congratulate them and hope they continue along that line. I wish to today express our thanks and appreciation uh, towards the Rima Executive Group for taking this bold and courageous step uh, to ensure that the launch facilities offered here in Guyana have been expanded to include another dimension of a service uh, that is so critical uh, for the well-being of, of the aviation sector. Caribbean Airline uh, and Rima, uh, we have a long standing relationship where we utilize the executive launch and it's one of the best launches in the entire Caribbean region. Uh, this launch this launch that has been recently created and will be open today um, joins in that category of excellence that only the Rhyme Group um, is so now familiar in now in the um, we are confident that going forward that we will utilize the launch um, to the best of our ability. And we look forward to continuing good relationship with the Rhyme and Airways and staff. So I thank you. I believe that this is a lot of our moment in the life when I started on the weeks of the Rhyme. And I believe that the climate in the present climate in the air has created many opportunities for businesses in the air. Jerry's company classical example. He has looked for those niche markets identified that he has invested in them. No one of us would have thought that an investment in this but Jerry. And in his own amateur way, he will make this a success. He now has a reputation of reviving dead properties <laughs> by using his own that in Guyana as we go along. I want to say to Debbie and Jerry, I will not just use the name in God <laughs> Congratulations. I, I, I want to encourage you to continue to keep up your very high standard of hospitality. And Jerry, you need to look at starting up a hospitality school in Guyana because you are miles ahead of everybody else in the hospitality and perhaps you can share that with the rest of the sector to your benefit as well. So on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Manufacturers and Services Association, I want to offer my congratulations to you, Jerry, and wish you all success in this event. Thank you.
very happy to be here today to be part of this ceremony, open this march. I recall when Carl Church came and approached the airport authority and said that they needed a facility for the crew. He was scrambling, uh, trying to identify a suitable location. Of course, we didn't have uh, any office or any uh, building per se that would be suitable. And he thought that maybe it's a project that the airport could undertake. And within five minutes, I realized that we don't have the expertise. And the first uh, person that came to mind was uh, Jerry Gobaya. Because of our experience with him in the exit lodge and departure side. When we did identify the location, and it's a pity that uh, you are here today, you were seeing this facility. Maybe if you could put it into perspective, it became basically an empty office. And I was very confident at that time, knowing that uh, whatever uh, Captain Maya came up with, he would be able to produce. I came a few times uh, when the project was taking place, had a look at it. Uh, he insisted that I came at the end. I, I did so when he was not around, you know, my own time. And I, must, I must say I was very, very shocked when I came in. Because as I said before, I'm familiar with the office space that was available. And to see what they did with the little space available, I was very, very surprised. And I'm happy, you know, when I say that as I said before, I was always confident that uh, there be, I know he recruited an uh, interior designer, they were saying, I think they did an excellent the relationship with uh, Captain Obaya, and I must say this, uh, I see him in some respect as a mentor because this industry is very new to me. I, when I came into the airport uh, back in 2002, it's the first time I've been in the aviation business. And over the years, uh, I've always found him very approachable. I've learned personally. And even now and then, I still call on him you know, for advice if there's something technical I need about something with him. The, the facility we have today is just part of the ongoing, ongoing improvement that we have at the Challenger International Airport. There are several projects that took place. The captain did uh, make mention of the issue of security and customer service. And we strive very hard to strike that balance between passenger facilitation without compromising security at the same time. 